Do you want to say hi? Yeah, hi. So this video, we're going to talk about preparing the baby space, sleeping space, getting all the baby stuff organized. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Pages, books, water bottle, trash, wipes, oops, wipes, more books down here for Sage. This bin is kind of like my personal stuff. Like I have books and chargers and random stuff in here that definitely needs to be organized and cleaned out and purged. Down here is a refrigerator where I keep Sage's bottles at night. This is a pregnancy pillow and then in here are more toys so I want to transform this whole space into a sleeping space and a space where it has like everything that I'm gonna need bedside pumping stuff oh I gotta pull that stuff out too oh my goodness so pumping stuff um diapers all the things and this is the closet so there's like all this stuff I need to go through this is like where the baby will sleep in there's newborn stuff in there. This is diapers, cloth diapers. And then all of Sage's stuff is pretty much stored in these bins. And then this other half just has a lot of stuff that needs to be kind of sorted. Um, things that haven't been used in a long time. So let's just get into getting it all organized. Oh, but first here, big belly. I'm getting big, right? Look, baby. See? Baby. <laughs> baby. Alright. Some of this. What do you used to breastfeed on? Yep. Breastfeed. You did some tummy time on there, too. Blanket from Auntie Kiana that she crocheted. Mm -hmm. Just pulled out the receiving blankets, burnt cloths. This is an extra cover for the Bafi, which will all get washed. I did find these, which Sage never got around to wearing. These are three months. What's this? Three to six months. We don't know what we're having, so I'm not going to. I was going to just go ahead and wash them, but I think I'm going to wait in case we have a boy, then I can just give these away to someone else, but they're out just in case. Okay, so my next step is to clear this space out. Want to see what's in this box? Okay, mommy's got to finish up. <sighs> Just going to take a little break, okay? Talk about. Two. This is baby number one, who is still a baby. 
Um, she just turned one. She's 13 months now, but she will be 14 months on my due date, actually. Yeah. So, um, oh, two under two. And it's like two under like, two under barely one. Okay. That's basically my life. And, um, yeah, being pregnant and having a toddler is a lot. Okay, it's a lot. But it's all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut off the camera and come back to you guys when I have it all organized because it's a lot. It's just a lot of moving parts and I want to kind of knock it out um, before nap time. Nap time's at 1230-ish. And right now it's, I don't even know what time it is. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.47 a.m. 11.47 a.m. Thank you. So I have like 45 minutes or so. She usually doesn't go down right at 12. So I'll probably have like a solid hour to knock it out. So that's what we're about to do. Or actually, I, maybe I'll just put the camera in the corner and like just get to it. All right. And that's what we're going to do. Feels like, feels like every, I don't know, 10 <laughs> minutes or so after I do a task, I need to take a break, which is fine. I'm not trying to push myself at all. Now I have moved everything out. The space is empty other than the refrigerator, which I just cleaned out. You can see right there, I just have it airing out a little bit. Now I'm gonna start putting the things on so that we can see what it's gonna look like. This is gonna act as like a bassinet, a bedside bassinet type of thing. The baby will probably just sleep there for, like I, I don't remember when Sage really started having a lot of movement, though she was a preemie, so that all the stuff was a little delayed. But when baby starts getting more active, then baby will definitely be in a different sleeping situation. So, but this is what we're gonna do for now because again, I don't have a spare room for, or even spare space in our room to put a legit crib. Um, and then plus I like baby being close to me. And honestly, if I could, I would love to have transitioned Sage to her own bed at this point and then have the baby in the bed with us. But what's probably gonna end up happening is both babies will be in the bed with us, but I just want the new baby to have their own space, um, especially because Sage is like a wild sleeper, of course, like all little kids, right? And then, um, and it will just be better, you know what I mean? Safer, whatever. So, yeah, so let's set this up. We are, I can't say we're almost done. <laughs> It's a complete disaster in here. You know when like things gotta get a little worse before it gets better? We're at the worst part, okay? <coughs> What's up, baby? What do you need? Can I have a kiss? <laughs> Your forehead. Mwah. Mwah. What do you want more of? More what? Milk? Here. All right, let's take a little break. It would be easier, like, so I have a babysitter for Sadie who's gonna be with her auntie on Wednesday. And it probably would have been easier to do it on that day, but that day I wanna take more of like a, a meeting up with a friend. We'll probably do some Starbucks, like work at Starbucks for a couple hours. And I would love to go to the chiropractor and just like have a, you know, a me day instead of doing this on that day. So yeah, but juggling this project with my toddler 
It's not for the week. It's not for the week. Let me tell you that. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. Oh, you know what? Another thing that I can chat about while we're taking a little milk break. I pulled out this box that has um, blood pressure cup, cup, cuff, um, or blood pressure machine. I have these um, urine analysis test strips that come in handy. Um, heating pad. Uh, this is all the like. I don't know, medical stuff, I guess. I got um, six bath, fetoscope, feet, feet, fetoscope, yep, Doppler. Um, all those things are in this box. So I'm gonna make a, um, going into labor, a labor basket so that I could just pull out all those things and have them because I do plan on laboring at home as long as possible. You all done? That would be good. I'm gonna go back and play it a little bit. That would be helpful. Okay, let's go. It literally fits exactly. So that's where baby will be sleeping. Okay, so I got this with Sage, but we need I don't really use it consistently. So much to organize, darling. So, it doesn't fit a bunch of diapers, but it probably fits enough. So, let's see what we got. We got two, four, six, eight. work. This is called in two, four, six, eight, ten diapers go right here. And that's probably the amount that I'll, I'll be using per day. So that might work because then every day I just make sure it's filled up with ten. And then thank you, ma'am. And then, um, yeah. Yeah. I think I like that. So I have to figure out the pumping stuff. Now, this is my pump that I freaking love. And I'm not sure how it's all going to fit. Or maybe that's what I'll have to do is have this extra bin be the pump and all those supplies. Um, I don't plan on pumping overnight for the sake of it being loud. And I'm going, but I, well, I'm not going to use an electric pump overnight, but I am going to use my hopper, which I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere up there and do that express hand express overnight. And then the first thing in the morning, just pump and release. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the pump right in here and do that. And then what I can do is, um, figure out what to do with Sage's toys because I'm gonna give y'all a little view of what, is, <laughs> what it looks like now but this is pretty much ready to go clean off this bed so my baby can take her nap you ready for your nap yes <laughs> I need another snack and I might even take a nap with her this is her two-hour nap that's coming up and yeah I think it's, it's about that time for me all done? Thank you. You gotta find the other piece to this so you can play. Nice. Good job, Seiji. Yay. Nice job. Look, we have a disaster. There's there's toys everywhere here. There's stuff that needs to be donated, given away, sold. And this is my bed filled with lots of stuff. Baby clothes that need to be washed. Books that need to be put away for Seiji. She has a little bookcase down here, so I might just 
put the rest of her books there. Yeah, whew. I'm almost ready for a nap. <laughs> All right, so it's a couple days later um, since I last checked in with you guys about the baby section and so it's all done now finally i'll start up here this is where i keep sage's books and so that'll be books you know those are books for bedtime and i switch them out we have more books on her bookcase but i switch them out every few days or so and then of course we have the boppy that's not going to stay there but it's there for now um this lounger which i love we used it for sage and she would like kind of chill out in that this is like the baby's bassinet the baby will sleep and then down here we have plenty of cloth diapers ready to go now that i have been using actively because obviously sage is in diapers still so i just grab and go right here and um both baby and sage will be using the same diapers so that's what i love about cloth diapers wipes um refrigerator with this is where I keep um, Sage's milk, but we will also be keeping breast milk in here, like as I pump it. Um, water. And here are all the pumping supplies. Only thing I need to do is sanitize, wash and sanitize all the pumping um, parts, like the, the kit to the pump itself. I have the pump in here. I have the Spectra and it is charging. I have sanitizing bags breast milk storage bags all that stuff is here and then this last container is just a hodgepodge of my like chargers and headphones apple watch um yeah random stuff i still actually should purge that box but for now it's going to stay there i'm also going to be including um snacks into that section so that i have snacks while i'm breastfeeding and <clears throat> I don't necessarily have to get up and go into the kitchen for that. And then lastly, well not lastly, hospital bag, almost packed. It is packed, but I just need to organize it. And also I have a labor box. So while I'm home laboring, I will be using these things to monitor like my blood pressure, um, I have urine analysis strips so I can do that. I have a thermometer essential oils um we have this birth at home kit in case baby comes real quick sits bath um peri bottle Dop <clears throat> excuse me doppler essential oils i think i already said that heating pad so all of that is right in here so this will be good to go and then the only thing that i need to get for the box i believe are some like adult diapers and oh i have some i pulled out some candles some incense and sage and that's gonna also excuse me that's also gonna go into the box because while i am in labor and i'm at home still i want to make sure that the environment is exactly how i want it to be and zen relaxing so that you know baby can progress my body can relax all of that so i have that that also needs to go in here but otherwise we're good we are ready i don't think baby needs really anything that's pressing we have a shit ton of stuff that's still in the registry that we need but that stuff can come and actually what i'll do is because i know some people have asked me for it if you are interested in blessing our family the registry is going to be the link to the registry is in the description of this video so feel free to if you feel called to bless us we appreciate it thank you in advance and um but you know we're gonna be ready so we'll be ready whatever we get ready but as far as like clothes and receiving blankets and all the basic stuff that that we need for the baby within the first like few weeks or so we got all that thank you so much for tuning into this week's video i hope you enjoyed watching me create my baby's nursery and um yeah i'm so excited so we're almost there Belly's big. We're almost there. Almost there. All right, y'all. Peace.